Welcome everyone to your Halloween special. Hope you guys are doing great out there. If you're friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you. This is about your fears and how to control your fears. Okay, so we do have the pick a card. So what I want you to do is not focus on the candy. I want you to focus on the color. So whatever color came to your mind first um, is the deck that you need to pick. Um, color has a lot of energy okay so give you a couple of minutes to actually pick that color and know what color you actually need whatever one like i said comes to mind first and guys we do have uh, the timestamp in the description area so you can go straight to that reading okay or fast forward of course that way you don't have to watch everything Okay, this is yellow is deck one. Okay, so in the timestamp you will see that will say yellow deck one and then deck two will be the orange and deck three will be the blue. So you guys just go ahead and do that. Okay. Fun Halloween. Let's go. First card out for the deck one yellow deck is Lady De Los Mortos. Acceptance and quality. This is talking about the fear of death and the acceptance of death. And not just your death, but others' death. The acceptance that we all die, things change. Um, so this isn't, like I said, so much your death. This is the death of others. The fear that you will be left behind. Um, things of this nature. And for some of you, it could just be the fear of death itself. So just take that, how that resonates. But with the a beta of the spirit wolf over here, it's going to be talking about how you're going to accept the change. Understanding that transition is the way that it needs to be. It's a part of the cycle. Once you understand the part of this cycle, it's easier to let that go and have a better understanding. So the beta of the wolf over here wants you to understand that this is just the way life is. And once you have a better understanding of that, you will be able to understand that things have cycles. This one is the underworld where all things pause and then begin again. So as the, the, as the body is doing its thing, the body can only last so long, then the spirit gets to go and gets to do what it needs to do. Once we have a better understanding that the spirit is alive within us, and that it has to do these things, it makes it easier to let go, understanding. And attune to the divine is always the best way of doing things, that we can ease the mind and ease the pains and of the loss. So with the beta of the spirit of the wolf over here, it's giving yourself enough rest and understanding that you'll be able to ground yourself enough to be able to focus and motivate and fulfill your own path and knowing that others have done the same. Allowing your instincts to know that from times of change and uncertainty comes, will come the confidence, the love, and the, and the resistance to have that um, understanding. You don't want to have a resistance against this because it's not going to help you. Um, you want to make sure that you have a skilled approach and intuitively handle the issue, you know, as being. Um, and with the underworld over here, this is literally talking about the change, the change of how everything is changing around you, how things have to be. So this is really pretty much engaging in the solution of the problem. The engaging in the solution allows you to understand that, you know, Life has changes. We all have to change just like it goes from fall to winter, from winter to spring. Everything has to have its cycles, as such as us. So the, the underworld is saying, let's have little poems, and I'm actually going to read the little poem because I think it's really cool, guys. Why not? It says, another realm, shadow filled, travel from dead's bed. 
where we stop and transform within the realm of the dead. So, should the end world be presented in this reading as it is, you are being asked to consider exactly what you have to do to transform your life into something you find easier or more authentic for yourself. Include the changing of any course when it comes to any trials and tests, making sure that you understand that you are moving forward, right? Do not allow any fear of the unknown to present itself, for here is only temporary. I think once we understand that, you know, through death, through life comes death, um, we have to understand it's only temporary. So therefore, once, you, you know, you have this better understanding, it's easing the fear of the unknown of what is there. And a lot of times the people reason, reason you guys have fear is you don't know what they're, what's going on afterward. Where am I going? What are they doing? Are they okay? Well, this is where you need to attune to the divine and have a divine understanding that everything is what is. And in the spirit world, we go where we need to go and we do what we need to do. And for some of them, they will come back, right? If their mission is not completed, they will be back. Okay. This just causes imbalance within yourself. And we want to make sure that we we keep ourselves balanced within the situation. When we're talking about the Lady Mortis over here, you know, she's telling you, don't allow this to become your imbalance. Do not fear what you, you know, what you think is one thing when you're not sure of the other. Okay. Acknowledging death is a natural process that will enter everyone's life at this time and perhaps until then. We can choose the life affirming, taking away much of that fear. Making sure that you're making a light approach to the situation initially and it will work out much better for you. If you're holding on to something that does not serve you any longer in particular in material things, simplify and just let it be. Let it be what it needs to be. Your intuition knows all. Intuitively, you already know what is real. And what is not, what needs to be, it needs to be. And yes, there are secrets. There absolutely are secrets. And I think that that, like I said before, that's one of the reasons you hold on to the fears is because it is a secret. What really does happen? No one really knows. You get little things here and there, right? But no one really truly knows the secrets of afterlife. So let it go so that everything can be okay. It will get rid of all your anxieties and your understandings, and it will fulfill your life so much more, especially if you have someone around you who may be dying now, or maybe you may be dying now. Do not fear. Bring in the divine so that way you can feel like you're filling your cup with the things that you need. You will feel more grateful, and you'll be more in tune with the powerful three within yourself, mind, body, and soul, and then really bringing that spirit in so that you can really feel like, you know what? I have no fears no more. Everything is going to be fine. It's just a part of life. Okay? So really messaging and feeling like you are being raised up. Actually, your vibration will rise much more as you're becoming more clear about the situation. Okay? Because as we cycle, we cycle is change. And the world is all about the change. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye. Okay, and for those of you who picked the orange deck, deck two, let's go. The fear. The apple, risk and reward, the fear of change, the fear of the unknown. But it's not really the un unknown. It's more of if I take this risk, I'm not sure the outcome. So it's also a fear of change. So not sure exactly what's going on, right? So I don't want to risk too much because if I risk too much, I don't know exactly what the outcome is going to be. So it's 
also kind of of the uh, fear of status quo change as well. I like where I am in a bubble. I really do want change, but I'm kind of scared to make leaps of faith because I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work out. And that can also be because maybe you've done it before and it didn't work out so well. So now you've kind of grounded yourself, put yourself into an area where it's like, I'm comfortable, but I'm not really as comfortable because I know I could do so much better, but I fear of doing such a thing. Um, so the Mandela of the heart over here is telling you, open your heart to the things that you know you can have. Spirit says they want you to have these things. Do not hold back on things that you can change. The mummy over here, the mummy says there is change. Change is inevitable. It's going to happen one way or another. You can't always stay at status quo one way or another. So if you don't make the risks to do something, time is going to change on its own anyways. So you can only hold on to what you're going to hold on to for so long anyways before something happens, good or bad. So you, if you really want to do something, make sure you make that leap of faith. Don't hold back because you're scared that it won't work out. You never know unless you actually take the risk. Trust in the universe that there are things around you that are good for you. Things that need to be done. Things that need to change. I'm actually going to go to the mummy first, guys. It has these beautiful little poems in here. I just love them. Um, this one says, the sand in his mouth, the bandages wound. Jealous of the living, eternal life bound. And that's kind of what you're getting. You're binding yourself up, um, you know, in your little atmosphere, not wanting to take this risk. Too worried that you might have something bad go wrong. Right? It says the change is inevitable and that no matter how hard you try, things will not be preserved exactly the same way. It indicates that the change will be for the better the endings and closed doors and the barriers. This is just a healthy pause and indication that change of tactics is going to be needed. Do not fear them. You are not cursed. You are not, you know, cursed to have bad things happen. Um, I, it says that you never know. Maybe somebody feels that way too. Um, you can take control and change that because the curse is only what you make of yourself or how much you believe in things, right? If you, you know, if you really want to believe in that, then you're holding yourself back, right? Or allowing to that to take control um, from you. Um, the apple is the sweetest icon, risky red desire. Poison and freedom, tempting heart's desire, right? And this is saying, do you want the change, but you're not willing to make the change? You don't want to change anything. Are you willing to risk to get to the greater reward? Or alternatively, are you risking too much too often? Or are you waiting for this risk to fall through the ceiling into your lap? Oh, we talk about that one a lot, don't we, guys? About if I don't take go out, you know, my love isn't going to fall through the roof. <laughs> my love isn't going to be the postman who's, you know, dropping off my, uh, my gifts. You know what the possibilities of that is that you're actually going to, marry the, you know, and find true love through the UPS man. I always bring that one up because somebody literally told me that once. Uh, I always bring the UPS man. I really like him and I hope one day he just wants to date me. Okay. Well, that's great. You lock yourself in your house and you wait for the UPS man to make the first move. Really? And if it's not this UPS man, maybe it's the next, maybe it's FedEx. <laughs> they don't want to take the risk to go out there and look for what they're looking for because they're scared of, there also is the scared uh, tactics over here. It's some of you even might even fear rejection, right? That's the way she felt. She felt like if I allow them to make the move and I don't move out of this little situation, then even if the UPS man rejects me, then I'm fine in my little bubble. Do not be fine in the little bubble. We have to grow. You will be fine. So the Mandela of the heart tells you, open your heart out. Go get what's yours. The universe has tons of things. Trust in the universe a little bit more. Do the things you need to do. Don't be scared of change. So the Mandela of the heart, clarifying.
Afraid my ships won't come in. Look at that. That's exactly what it is. Afraid my ships won't come in. If I take this risk, everything is going to fall and I won't really get to what I really need. Be a little more positive. There's green grass all over the place. With a queen of coins, it says, you know what? It's just saying, because I'm simple, I'm hum-ho, I'm feeling okay, but I know that I want more. But what I really want right now, I feel very comfortable, so I don't want to take any extra risk. You have better intentions. Look deep within your cup and find the intuition within yourself. Be grateful for the things you have, and you obviously already are, but you want more. Right? You're saying, because I'm already grateful for what I really have, I do want more, but I don't want to risk what I have. And you have the passion behind it. Make sure that you have the passion behind what it is you truly want to make that leap of faith. To really get to what you really want. Use observance. Use your learning. You have the skills within yourself. Do not allow anxiety and fear to rule what it is what the cycle of change and blessings can bring. And once you step out outside of this box and you build yourself up, then you'll be able to travel towards what you truly, truly want and desire. And the universe will have your back because it has your back anyways. And yes, we don't always get the good things. And yes, sometimes we make bad judgment calls. Sometimes we think one thing and, and it happens the other way. And that's probably why a lot of you are in the rut of the fear in itself. But remember, there's also good blessings all around us. It's just that how we're moving and how we're directing our emotions and the things that we truly want and really bringing the powerful three of yourself together. Bring in that energy, guys. Bring in that energy. You know what you love and you know that there's love really is out there. There are 7 billion people on this planet. Do not tell me you cannot find love. I do not believe that. Right? I do not believe that. There is commitment out there. Just have more faith. And for some of you, there is definitely a water sign that's right there underneath your nose. Or a fire sign right underneath your nose. Look at that. And an air sign. Fire, air, and water right there for you wanting to give this love to you. <clears throat> There's no such thing as not finding love. I don't know why the love keeps coming up, but I just feel like that is one of the biggest reasons for the change and the risk of, the, of my heart it being broken. Well, you'll never know if love's not there if you don't heal it, mend it, and then go back. You know, you fall off the horse, guys. Come on, get back on the horse. There's a million horses. Don't just blame that one horse. Right? Not all horses are this way. And then you can say, oh, well, they're all the same. That's not true. That's not true. That's what you've made yourself believe to keep yourself in this little bubble of protection. So open up your heart, get out there, and find what you're looking for. Like I said, 7 billion people on the planet. And you know what? They're looking for it. You're looking for it too. Believe me. Think of it this way. At least 100 of you are going to watch this video, and I'm going to get about... Maybe three or four messages, because I don't get a lot of messages. I'm going to get three or four messages, one from a male, one from a female, who says that they're looking for exactly what I just said and think you guys could already be together because you're looking for the same exact thing. That's the possibilities. Till next time, my friends. Happy Halloween. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Um, I'm getting ready to change this job, but I've got so much anxiety. Even though I know this, I even know what I'm doing. It's almost to the point where it's like I had so much courage to get this new job because I know what I'm doing. But as soon as I get there, it's like all of a sudden it's almost time to get there and my anxiety is through the roof. What if they hate me? I, my God, oh shit, oh, I shouldn't have done this. Oh my gosh, you guys just sound like my husband. He does this every time he changes a job. He gets me all worked up like this is the best thing ever. This is what we're going to do. Right? And then as soon as he gets there, he's like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God, this is hard. Oh God. And I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you feeding yourself all this for what if I'm not good enough? Why are you feeding all this fear for two weeks? You've been telling me how awesome you are, how awesome this is going to be, how you're the best one for this job. And now all of a sudden you have to, you know, tomorrow you're going to go to work and now all of a sudden you're all worked up and you're like, oh my God, what they hate me. Unnecessary fear causes anxieties, um, negative energy. And then when you go to work the next day, you're not like on top, right? You're not on top of your game plan and you, your courage is, is lowered. So you're walking in a little shy, a little awkward, instead of what you were two weeks ago. Right? That's just an example. You take it or throw it away. But it's that unnecessary fear. You know, you, you want to date this person. You've been looking at them forever. They see how awesome you are. This is why you guys are together. You get ready for that date and you're like, oh my God, what if they hate me? Oh my God. And then you get there and you're shy as hell. Right? You're not even the same person. Unnecessary fear. Fear of not being accepted. Fear of not being good enough. Fears that you've worked into yourself. And those are actually a type of fear. I know you guys were probably looking for fears of spiders and fear of a wolf. What are those? Those are just natural pe people things, right? Now we're talking about deeper fear. Fear of why am I doing that? And then you're going to get home and you're going to be like, oh my God, I just blew that date. Because I was vulnerable, or I was too bubbled up, or I was too shy. And that's not me. The fear of no acceptance. So you want to get in there and be the sun. Shine that. Shine it. You already know that you hold that. You already are shining. You were shining when you did whatever you did. Take the acceptance that you already were a shining star before you even started. Accept yourself and know your uniqueness. Know that you're shining. Don't allow this, unex, you know, unnecessary fears to hold you back from the things that you really, truly know that you already possess. And that's really what the unnecessary fear is. It's saying, I'm already shining, but then as soon as I go to do it, I shut down. I get fearful. And then it could even be, oh my God, what if it's wrong? What if it's this? No. You already know deep down inside what it is. Otherwise, you wouldn't have done it. Skeleton. Strength. Bringing back that strength that you have within yourself. You're already strong to begin with, but you allowed the fear to weaken. Embrace the flow of life. Knowing who you are within yourself. Just be yourself. Knowing that, you know what? I was already this person before I even let that happen. Why? Why would I weaken myself? <clears throat> what if they don't like me? What do you mean, what if they don't like you? Unless it's it's a blind date, right? That could be a little different. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to go there. I'm sorry, I am. Because I could see that that would be like anxiety. But most of this is unnecessary fears of you already know that you're shiny. You already know who you are. And you know what, guys? Even if it is a blind date, and you don't know who they are and you're going to have anxieties because like, what if I don't like them or they don't like me? You know what? Shine it anyways. Because look, in something like that, it's, it is or not, right? <clears throat> that you have to be the person that you, that you are and the sun holds off this uh, authenticity, right? So you're going to be yourself. Just be yourself. You know, it comes to the conclusion, <clears throat> excuse me, they either like you or they don't. It's a win or lose situation. Even if you know that you're, you know, you're awesome for this job, everything, you know, you go in there, you do your job the way you're supposed to do your job. Look, some are going to like you and some aren't anyway, so what's the difference? But don't allow that to be your fear. 
Some energies don't mix anyways. I have that problem myself. Not everybody likes me. And that's fine. <clears throat> Be aware that you are in good hands and good fortune. Look deep within your cup. Intuition tells you you know what's going on, what's good, and what's not. But fear is not to where it's supposed to be. Rest. Do not thieve your energy. Do not allow others to thieve your energy either. Be yourself. Manifest. Be the magical person that you are. Push the magic out. The magic is who you are. Whether they like you or not. Who really cares? You'll be recognized and have more recognition this way anyways. But just... More than anything, the Three of Coins is going to say, they recognize who I am and what I possess. Love it or not. You have to get real over here, right? Not everybody's going to love us. But that's okay, but don't make it a fear. So you don't like me. Okay, fine. This is, brings more generosity into, into your life and brings in the more passion for what you really have without holding you back from any situation. And this brings in the divine essence of yourself. The snake is the divine essence. You know, we're all built on divine essence. We are who we are. And that's not going to change, right? We only change when we grow. But the deep, authentic person that you are within yourself is the divine essence. The growth comes in so many different ways. That comes through learning, love, this, that. But the divine essence is who you truly are. The true person that you are within yourself. Let go of all the fears so that you can transform and not allow yourself to have any kind of unnecessary fears that are just not going to help you at all. Cut through the BS and get to the communication of what you truly are. Do not allow yourself to have internal battles with yourself about any situations. Let go of the toxicity, right? And you can reflect on the situations at hand so that way you know exactly who you are, where you're going, and what you want within your life. And this brings in what? Way more. Way more. Because people see you for the true, the true you. And you see yourself as the true you. And you're going to feel so much better about the situation because you're not going to be so uptight or nervous or or shy, or bubbled, or, right? And that was it for you, my friends. Have a beautiful Halloween, and I will see you next month. Peace and love. Bye-bye.